The management of Port Harcourt Electricity Distribution Company, PHEDC, says it is working to improve power supply and other technical challenges affecting consumers under its area of coverage. The PHEDC says it has recruited 355 new staff into its workforce in line with recently reviewed organizational structure aimed at strategically aligning staff members for improved service delivery to its valued customers. The Chief Executive Officer, PHEDC, Henry Adegoa, while addressing the new hires in Port Arcot, said that the new inductees will be customarily trained on the business model of the firm, on the business model of the power firm. He emphasized the need to account for every energy sold to consumers. We want to be able to resolve uh, customers' issues very quickly. And in doing this, we also use the opportunity to detect those few bad elements in our system who are doing a lot of uh, energy bypass. So what you're going to have is uh, you're going to have uh, an army of uh, 600 or more people in the field ready to comb our network. We are developing a new format in the marketplace such that uh, we have um, our transformer in our distribution areas divided into sessions. Each marketing officer is allocated specific transformers to be in charge of and a manageable number at that such that we should be able to comb the streets and account for every single household connected to our network. Basic three things that we expect of them, their delivery, major deliverables, is to enumerate our customers within that transformer, distribute bills, which happens at the beginning of every month, and at the end of the month, they will go back to collect money. Because we are in to make money as a business. Ajagboa frowned at the rising wave of energy theft and meter bypass in the system, which he says may cripple the existence of electricity industry if not checked. Some of the employees promised to bring their skill to bear in making PHEDC the number one electricity distribution company in Nigeria. In due course, we will bring every single household into our records so that we begin to collect what rightfully belongs to us. So all those consumers of energy are now in pain, all those people have been on bypass, all those people on faulty meters, and all, all what have you. We are going to be focused on them. We need to be able to collect so that we can provide stable energy for our people. But for us to sustain this and for us to continue to do this very well, we need people to also pay their bills. The complaint has been they are, you know, they are not getting light. They're going to be having light. We're going to, we're going to give them light. What? we should be ready to pay for that light. I, I show them uh, hard work, honesty and integrity from what I've been hearing from the meeting so far. You know, he's speaking from uh, a, a very bold angle and uh, someone who really wants an improvement in the power sector, which I think we all need in the country at the moment. So I think uh, he's on the right track and I think if we can work from um, his precedence, uh, uh, PhD and uh, power supply in the country will be much more better. To be a teamwork, yeah, I'm assuring them to work as a good conduct to ensure to work as a team, also provide good conduct and excellence in the work because it's not easy to do, but I have to put up my best. The newly recruited employees were drawn from Aquiabom, Bielsa, Cross River and River States, where the company is licensed to distribute power supply in accordance with the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission's extant laws.